I can think of no greater divide in human history than a slave and their slave owner. I mean, how are these guys going to ever get along? And so it's Black History Month. I want to bring up my favorite African-American from history, Frederick Douglass. And to talk about he absolutely lived the words of Jesus when Jesus said, love your enemies. And we need to learn a lesson from Mr. Douglass today. Now, he escaped the plantation that he worked on in 1838. Ten years later to the day, he wrote a letter to his former slave owner. His name was Thomas Auld. Made this letter public, so this was kind of an embarrassing thing to the Auld family. The letter's several pages long. It's absolutely incredible. You should read it. Uh, I'm going to give you the quote here in a minute from the conclusion of that letter. But in it, he talked about the crimes, atrocities that Mr. Auld had done to him and his family. Uh, he also asked about his family, wanting to know if Mr. Auld would send him a letter asking about how his three sisters, his brother's grandmother, was doing. He even asked that Mr. All would free his grandmother, who was over 80, and how, you know, how much work could she really do? Douglas said, I would love to take care of her for the rest of her life. The last of the letter, though, is what I want to share with you and quote this to you verbatim. And again, you're probably thinking, it'd be something like, you know, if I ever see you in public, I will kill you. Or if I could get, I, I dream about putting my hands around your neck. You know, nope, none of that. Here's how I close the letter. Quote, I entertain no malice toward you personally. There's no roof under which you would be more safe than mine. And there's nothing in my house which you might need for your comfort, which I would not readily grant. Indeed, I should esteem it a privilege to set you an example as to how mankind should treat each other. I am your fellow man, but not your slave. Frederick Douglass. They actually met later in 1877. It was arranged by Old's daughter, Amanda, who had become an abolitionist and even met with and supported uh, Douglas even before the Civil War. Old was in bed, last days of his life. Douglas comes in. Both men wept. They embraced each other, confessed to each other, whatever their discussion was. But I want to close my podcast with another quote from Douglas when he said this to Ald. I did not leave you. I left slavery, end quote. That's it, friends. That's the lesson for us. We cannot allow political divides and issues or whatever is out there to cause us to stop talking to each other, stop sharing meals with each other, stop loving each other, canceling each other. This has to stop. Regardless of the divisions between us, we can still relate personally. Listen, I, two or three of you out there, maybe, you know what? You've got people in your family or close friends that you are not talking to over dumb politics. Let's learn from Frederick Douglass. You reach out to them. Restore that relationship today before you go to bed.